We're a league full of women who understand what's most important. 2020, we made a lot of noise. We absolutely want to dedicate our season to Say Her Name and Black Lives Matter. This is like another opportunity where if we're doing this together, it's just going to have greater power. It's going to go further. Our voices were more powerful than what we ever imagined. There's no way that an owner like Kelly Loeffler is going to work in the WNBA. No one has asked politics to come into sports. When Kelly made her statement, it was very disheartening knowing her role owning a team that is predominantly black woman. It felt like the ultimate betrayal. These women, they're not afraid of a fight with a senator. Players are mad. How can you redirect that energy? What can I do? What's action-based? Raphael Warnock, he's running in her seat. Started researching him, because what do you stand for? It was really important that we hear him talk about these issues. They were laying it all on the line. Players wearing vote Warnock shirts in support of voting against Senator Kelly Loeffler. This was a moment where it's bigger than basketball. We plant a seed and watch it grow. We will not stop. We will go hard. Once we started wearing those shirts, his campaign shot to the roof. WNBA was standing together, and that was the most powerful message. It's in our fabric to see an injustice and want to step up for it. All odds are against you, but how do you find a way to win?